everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and for today's video, you might notice that something is a little bit different behind me. Yeah, I have a dining room now. How about that? Anyways, what I'm really, really excited to share with everybody is... Okay, so not only do I have my mini fridge and my Keurig that I still need to set up, I also have a couch. That's my big printer scanner in the box. I have a coffee table, my TV stand, TV that's still in the box, but I finally have my art supplies again. Yay. So if I'm gonna be totally honest, I, I can't even remember what all I had, so let's find out together. Hey, look what else I've got. Finally got a bed frame and a box spring now. Um, yeah, it's so nice being able to sleep on a bed that's not quite on the floor. <sighs> wow. Um, this room feels smaller than before. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest that I had been so excited, I already went through one of my art bins already just because I couldn't resist. And this was in there. <sighs> they are just as beautiful as I remembered them. These are, of course, the Ohuhu brush markers, the 120 set. <sighs> They're absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, um, time to see what else I actually have. Okay, so I guess we could technically call this box number two since I jumped the gun, although this particular one, eh, these boxes got a little warped in transit. Anyways, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. This was the little promotional marker pad that I got at Daniel Smith, the actual Daniel Smith store several years ago. Um, I actually did a little walkthrough of that store, so I will put a link in the description below to that video. It was one of my earliest videos, actually. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have my, my, my tester cardstock pieces back. I mean, like, it's like everything is brand new again. Look at this. So much stuff. I think this was one of my sets of either Crayola or Crazy Art here. Yeah, these are Crayola. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. But of course, it's also not just about the stuff. You get this much stuff, you gotta have a place to put it. Alrighty, so... Eh. So nice to have my my original chair back. Oh, I've missed it. Even though it is a little bit big and clunky for this really small room, or at least this room would probably be big to some people, but to me, it's tiny. However, I'm doing my best to make it work. All right. However, one thing that is really nice about this room is it does have a pretty big closet. And this right here, this really, really old, 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 old dresser is now going to be just for art supplies. And yes, I know it's an absolute pigsty over here, but yeah, I know I've got a pair of jeans and my, my uh, Rick and Morty hat. Um, yeah, that needs... Yeah, I, I gotta find new homes for those and the plastic bags. It's, it's a little bit of a mess in here. There's my Jason backpack that I still haven't even taken the tag off of. Yeah, just don't ask questions, please. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, time to start unpacking all those goodies. Okay, so this is only after 
two bends and um, as you can see it's getting a little bit crowded already so I might have to rethink uh, some of my original ideas huh. how to go about this oh oh these oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh these I got for Christmas last year look at these Faber Castero Albrecht Albrecht Durr however you see it these are like super fancy watercolor pencils and Durr went light fast Ooh, oh my gosh oh my gosh and more Albrecht Durr watercolor markers oh my gosh I, I had so wanted to do videos on these, but I didn't have time before I moved. Oh my gosh. Eh, and again. Things are messy. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look. Ah. Uh, I, I know that every YouTuber and their brother, their sister, and their uncle has already done videos on this, but dang it, I only did the uh, Amazon review not Amazon review, the, 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 the Amazon unboxing where I got this. It's only like, you know, from like August or September of last year. I mean, it's not like I'm behind on anything. <laughs> uh, help me. Who oh, no, knew art supplies could be such a workout? <sighs> All right. Oh my gosh. Look at how satisfying that is. Different sizes of sketchbooks, all neatly arranged. Oh, it is a sight to behold. Just bask in the glory. But, um,. What am I going to do with all of this now? Okay, so what I'm thinking for a lot of this is since I've got four drawers here plus some... Ah, get out of the shot shirts. Plus I've also got these drawers here and I've got the shelf along here. I'm thinking I might see if I can do one drawer, say, watercolor. One of these, uh, my mar uh, nah, 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 nah. markers, 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 and then maybe a colored pencil, and then maybe the smaller ones can have other things. But yeah, oh boy, is it getting crowded in here! And hey, what is this? Okay, so after all of that, oh, sorry about that. Something just fell in the back of my closet here. So, got this drawer with what little of my acrylics I've got. I don't really have a whole lot of acrylic paint. One of these days, I would love to try out oils, but probably not while I'm living here. Okay, and this drawer just has a lot of miscellaneous stuff where I either ran out of room in the other drawers or I just didn't have a place for it. Like, I've, I've still got to do a Dollar Tree video. Another one, anyway. And I've got a drawer that's all for Crayola stuff, although this might need to be upgraded one of these days at the rate I am getting stuff from Crayola. Okay, and then... Ooh, come on. I'm very, very proud of having this marker drawer, although again, I might need to get more, like I might need to have two drawers dedicated to markers one of these days. And then, 
the other drawer that I might need to dedicate to to okay that sounded better in my head <laughs> anyways this is the watercolor and water media drawer which is stuffed to the max moving on ah, come on this is the colored pencil charcoal um eh, pastels and just other things although the Arteza watercolor pencils are in here along with one of the my uh, brushes my brush cases just because I was running out of room all right and then oh yeah I've got more pastels and just this is kind of a miscellaneous drawer just other stuff that just didn't fit anywhere else one gigantic miscellaneous drawer. And I still have these and I still have room on here. Oh yeah, I've got the Bombay ink over here just because there wasn't any room for it. And um, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. And um, as you can see, my studio space is still an absolutely uh, epic and messy disaster. Oh my gosh, sorting through all of these art supplies, I am just exhausted. How did I get that many art supplies? How, how, how did this happen? And believe it or not, that's not everything. I actually still have more. It's just kind of sprinkled throughout other boxes that's still in storage. So, yeah, but <sighs> sorry, I'm just absolutely exhausted. But at the same time, I'm just so happy to have shall I say, the vast majority of my art supplies back. Anyways, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Post below. What was your favorite art supply that I had shown? If you can pick one out because, yeah, I think I have too many. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena signing up. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!